So this is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, right off the bat, I don't like the packaging. I don't like the packaging. I couldn't figure out how to open it, number one. Number two, when I was opening it, I had a freaky accident where this sort of came off. So I'm not even sure if that's working. But apart from that, it's a good looking bottle. I just wish Mr. Gaultier would fix the packaging. Um, yes, yeah, so we have this. I bought this because I liked the bottle. I'm going to be absolutely truthful. I really, really like the bottle. And out of all of the Jean Paul Gaultier perfumes, this was the only one that sounded like it was something that I could wear during the day. I liked the smell of Scandal, but everything that I've read about it um, says that it's like a clubbing, a head turner kind of perfume that I kind of feel like that's not my circumstance right now as a 40 year old mom of five kids, you know, I'm mostly at home. I'm not looking for a clubbing fragrance, but this one sounded really um, quite nice because of um, the notes. So. The top note is pear, uh, the middle note's vetiver, so I'm expect expecting some dryness, and then the base note is vanilla. So I quite, quite liked the sound of the notes, and most of the stuff that I've read about this is great, good, good stuff, and it's also supposed to be a long-lasting fragrance as well, which, um, you know, makes sense for me. So let's try it. I'm just going to grab uh, a paper, and we're going to spray some on paper. And fingers crossed I haven't irre irreversibly damaged the atomizer. There we go. We've got some paper. I hope this is not broken. Um, let's see. I broke the vaporizer. Oh, right. Now I think you're supposed to take this off. Mr. Jean-Paul Gaultier, as a first-time purchaser of your fragrances, I am not impressed. One is not impressed. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, oh wow. It squirts out a lot. I don't know if you can see, but it's actually like formed a puddle on there so you're getting a lot in one spritz i found it quite challenging to try and control um the spritz but here we go <laughs> certainly very feminine and oh snap this this reminds this is exactly like well very similar to my untrained nose anyway but it's like um la vie est belle but about five hours after i've sprayed it on so for me la vie est belle is incredibly intense and it lasts on me for at least about 13 13 hours has been the longest that i've then had to shower off but it was still on me but around the five six hour mark it takes on this really lovely vanilla cupcakey uh, kind of fragrance 
and this is what I'm getting right now. This, this for me is La Via Belle five hours later on my skin. This is very interesting. Oh, this is so, well, I don't know whether that's awesome or not, but it's awesome for me because I feel like my nose is getting to a point where I'm picking these things out. But yeah, so it's quite, um, it's a sweet, it's a very sweet fragrance. Absolutely no question about this. Quite a little bit on the creamy side as well. Mm. I'm not picking out any pear. To say that pear is a top note on this one, I am not getting any pear at all. But it is, it is quite a beautiful fragrance. I think this is what people would call a crowd pleaser simply because it you know it's, it's got the similar smell to la vie belle which um is another popular perfume it's it's not uniquely different to any of the other mainstream perfumes that i have been collecting mm. okay so maybe the pear comes out when i'm going outside i'm indoors right now and maybe it will come out on my skin i don't know but i do like the smell of it and i have to say mr jean paul gautier has redeemed himself somewhat with this particular fragrance despite the issues that i had with the casing and this coming off and not being able to figure out the tiny little collar thing on here um i don't like the fact that it doesn't have a cap I don't like the fact that it has to live in that tin. Um, so, yeah, that is the only practical problem that I have with this. I, I personally prefer my perfumes to have caps um, on them. But, uh, yeah, this is La Belle. I will be back with a video talking about how I get on actually wearing this and what the longevity is uh, for me and whether the scent evolves when it's on my skin. But it is a beautiful bottle, regardless of whether I will repurchase it or not. I think that this bottle is so incredibly beautiful to look at and beautiful things in life. They just make life just a little bit more sparkly i think uh, thank you so much for watching please hit the subscribe button smash that like and join me in my madness with uh perfumes and fragrances and scents and more unboxings bye